magandang araw. Ito po ang ikaanim na episode ng aming show na Kultura, Sining at Iba Pa. Ang topic po ngayon ay uh, teatro sa Pilipinas, Contemporary Philippine Theater. At uh, meron po kaming tatlong mga panauhin. Sila po ay mga practitioners ng Philippine Theater. Uh, isa pong direktor at dalawa pong manunulat or playwrights. Ang aking uh, co-host ngayong araw ay si Professor Cecil De La Paz na natutuno ng art study sa UP Diliman. Uh, siguro, Cecil, simulan natin by uh, introducing our guests. Uh, would you do the honors of introducing from the right? Uh, magandang araw sa mga manonood ngayon. Ang ating mga bisita mula sa UP Diliman, uh, nagtuturo ng teatro si Professor Jose Estrella. Former director ng Dulaang UP at nagtuturo sa theater arts program ng UP Diliman. Uh, beside her is... Uh, a uh, multi-awarded playwright and translator and uh, also writes uh, scripts for theater and for film no si uh, Rudy Vera Rodolfo Vera and uh, to your left is a uh, professor of theater arts in Ateneo de Manila a playwright uh, who comes from Panay Island and also is a Hiligaynon playwright no and also writes a uh, uh, plays in Filipino and in English no Kinaray uh, uh, Professor uh, Glenn Sevilla Mas. Okay, so we begin uh, our discussion with a very personal question, which is usually how we begin. We would like to ask our guests uh, to describe their personal journey into this art form. How and why did you end up in uh, theater? Doing directing or writing scripts for the stage? Uh, I'm director of Kono. So I use Jose. Josefina yung real name ko. But I use Jose because high school pa yan yun na, so it's my favorite. I prefer that than my the, real Are name. you bothered that sometimes you, people who haven't seen you will mistake you as male? No, it's okay. I can take it. It's part it. of the thrill. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the mystery. Yes. Anyway, uh, I got into theater. I think like most, a lot of uh, those who got into theater, I'm going to sa grade school. You know, you know how in English classes and... Um, Filipino classes, etc. Music. You're always, skits, yeah. you're always being asked to perform somehow. So, may attraction na yun. I mean, that's just a vague memory. Mm -hmm. Now, it just got stronger sa high school, uh, where very distinctly, for some reason, napunta ko talaga sa directing or mm -hmm. and writing. But mm -hmm. the, writing meaning not really necessarily original stuff, but kung ano yung assign the novel or Tina-adapt mo. Yeah. So, may, may mga kasama ko, may friends ako who sort of like, you know, we like working together. So, parang high school pa lang, parang may team ako. No? Um, in college, <coughs> um, actually, I was torn between film and theater. I wanted mm -hmm. to go to film, actually. Because malaki yung uh, influence sa akin ng television and movies. So, so, I pretty much grew up on Western stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, for good or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, so, <clears throat> I wanted to be a movie director, actually. But I think no time na yung wala pang film major, as a major. Mm -hmm. So, Pero was, may theater arts na. Meron na, meron mm -hmm. na. May, may speech, parang speech and drama, and then may theater arts. And then, inisip ko pa ng English, even. Like, mm -hmm. compared to lit. Because I love literature. <laughs> so, anyway, matagal na ano yun, then I decided on theater arts, which of course displeased my father, who, sa generation nila, dapat kunin mo commerce. Okay, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Commerce. Yeah. Or business ad, mang ganyan. Uh. <laughs> so, kanya, okay, may commerce. <laughs> Parang lahat may title. Na, commerce, commerce, kanya. So, anyway, um, so I entered the theater arts, pero first year ko, hindi ko pa, um, hindi pa ako active talaga sa sa theater. Parang kumakapapa ako. <coughs> Pero very um, studio type ang ating theater program. So, uh, freshman ka pa lang, parang pinapahipo-hipo ka na sa likod. Hindi. That's, that's different. That's different. Cert you're talking about the certificate program, ah, okay. which, which is came newer. much, much yes. later. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, nung time ko, which was Academic early talaga 80s, siya. BA program siya. Okay, okay. Mm. So, I entered the BA program. So, I wasn't able to get into a theater course until my second year. Mm. So, and then it was a baptism of fire. Kasi si Tony Mabesa agad oh ang yes. director ko. Ibang kultura yan, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, nasigawa na ako agad. 
you know. <coughs> so we talk about that later, no? Yeah. Kasi it's part of the training of theater uh, artists, particularly in UP Diliman, that they have to sort of be strong and have fortitude, no? K kasi part of the culture yeah, of theater definitely. ay masisigawan, mamumura, may ganun, ano? And I think within limits naman, no? Pero I think everyone has gone through that, no? And it's in the consensus is it, it is actually made you stronger and fortified for me, your yes. love I mean, for I it. can't speak for everybody, mm -hmm. but generally, yes, I think it will make you stronger. Did you pursue it uh, after college, theater? You took an yes, MFA? Yes, uh, I took an MA. No, I took an MA first. Because uh -huh. actually, after my BA, I was ako sa theater. So I, all I wanted to do was to leave the country. I wanted to go to the U.S. To, just to visit my sister. I didn't want to do anything theatrically related. Although I was in the U.S., I was looking mga schools. Because <laughs> I was interested to go abroad. Anyway, but, but I went back. And my first job was really sa film. No, mm. nag PA ako, nag uh, AD ako. And then for some reason, and nagtatago ako sa theater people. And the last person I wanted to hear from would be Mr. Mabesa. Mm. <laughs> Although he's my mentor. Um, one day, basta after eight, siguro mga eight months of doing film, ganyan, bigla na lang may tumawag sa bahay. And ito na yung booming voice niya. Hoy, sabi ko, magturo ka. Ganun, ganun yung ano niya, no? So, I was parang up against the wall. Hindi ko alam masasabihin ko sa kanya. Sabi ko, ayok. Parang ganun. You know, I was really very hesitant because I actually never thought I would teach. Parang hindi yun interesting for me. So, hindi ko alam exactly what made me say yes aside from yung hindi ko. Mahirap kung hindi ka Tony eh. I think up to now, a lot Let's of people would it. say if that. If you're, you've been asked to teach naman in a beautiful campus like UP Diliman, it shouldn't be that hard to decide. No, it was hard it for was me. It was still hard? Okay. Yeah, because may, may, ewan ko kung bakit ang lakas-lakas ng resistance ko to teaching. Oh, and yeah. just Academic going back life. to the theater. Oh. Siguro yung mm -hmm. idea lang na, hmm, maybe I can ano, direct one, one ah, day. Ah, Wala naman siyang promise na ganun eh. Oh, oh. Pero inisip ko na lang, maybe that's my way into directing. And uh, basta sabi ko lang, basta ako magturo ng comfy ha. Basta sabi niya, spoiled ka talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Ganon. So sabi ko, oh sige. Ganon lang. And that okay. was it. Tuloy -tuloy na. Yeah. So magandang lesson from that, take away from that, is parang you really start from low, no? Parang may hierarchy naman talaga siya. You have to work your way up. So you became a direct, you finally got to direct uh, at it, uh, after how many years of teaching? Siguro, after one year. Oh, spoiled ka nga. After one year, nag-direct ka na. Yeah, but ano eh, kasi si Tony used to do all of the directing. Iba talaga ng buong season siya. So we all served him in a way. But of course, we learned a lot, no? Basta one day, sabi niya, dapat, ano, dapat mag- Do you remember the first production? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ito si Mo, I don't know if you remember, Mon Hoxon. Kasi ano yan eh, one act play. sa Filipino department. Oh, yeah. yes. So, oh. yun ang ano niya, mag-direct ka muna ng one act play. Doon ka muna mm -hmm. sa THY, yes. yung that so, small <coughs> studio theater. That's a theater. playwrights theater, no? Parang yeah. Yung, ano. So, ayun. No, ano yan eh, palaging if you get his approval, then may future ka. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun yan eh. So, he was pleased with what I did. Just as, I, akala ko nga niya ako maging director nung una kasi... Nung college pa lang, yung to get, to get to do a directing thesis, akala niya kasi PMSM ako eh, because that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Kasi I was good at it. So parang feeling niya dapat, yun lang ang gawin mo. Eh, so sabi ko, uh, but I wanna be a director. Sabi ko, no? Niya, really? You wanna be a director? Parang ganun, yung directing, one, two na ako. Parang, bakit? So, pinag ano yung time pa na yon yung si Tony was ano parang hermit siya nandoon siya sa gardens niya sa ano sa may Tony will watch this episode yeah. I'm just telling the truth yeah <laughs> yeah so the, that was a phase of Tony na yung he didn't go to the department yeah. a lot and then so nag garden siya every afternoon and mm. morning so walking the dog yeah, yeah yeah pero mas gardening siya noon eh so para makausap mo siya kailangan puntahan mo siya Mm -hmm. Hahanapin mo siya kung nasan siya. So I went to the garden sa dun sa area yeah. near the ano yung Uval. Ah, sa Uval. Malapit oh. sa Chocolate Kiss oh. now. And sabi niya, "Why? Why do why do you want to direct? Because that's what I want to do." Mm -hmm. Pinilit 
parang ano siya, very skeptical <laughs> na magagawa ko. Oh, inis na inis ako sa kanya. Eh, parang, my God, I've been directing since high school, ano. And, and in my mind, I, I can do it. I know I have the talent. So, But I must tell you, Jose, when you came back with your MFA, uh, with your MFA and your first production was Divinas Palabras, you had surpassed, I think, yeah. the expectations of everyone. That, yeah. is, that was the most... <laughs> up to now, it is a touchstone play. My God, it's so long, so you're like, I have na never na seen a group. production. <laughs> no. No, it, but was, it was like downhill all no, the way. No, of course not. No, no, no. no. Oh, the, you had several, but you know, just go, going back to your story, you, the love of literature, I think it's clear in you the way you direct it. Because you, you do very good direction if you're devising rather than giving us a script that's fully there you do a good job sort of imagining or translating from word the written word to the stage that is your thank you that yeah. is your wonderful wonderful gift no i, I think so you're not the director who works well with scripts na finished you work well to devise i, I don't know i, I don't yeah. know i don't want to define myself that way because I've worked with I've worked with Roddy. Yeah. Mga bagong scripts, nila man si Roddy even before. Mm. Um I guess I like the challenge. Yun lang. Yeah, um yeah. my my profound effect sa akin ng going to America to study yeah. because um I wanted to go because and I made sure I could go. <coughs> so luckily I got a scholarship. Um And madami talaga akong napanood and naturo sa akin. Naturo in terms of critique. Mm. See, it's not, you don't learn directing by one, two, three. It's not like that. There's no formula to these things. Not to acting, not to design. You know, but you need to get your fundamentals mm. really down pat. No, and then you start looking at things differently. So it's more of that. So, so your perspective wide. Malaki yung right? difference to me nung how I approach text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ever very, since yeah. I went, you know, to, to Colombia. I think it's not just because Colombia, but You're, yung teachers ko doon, yung mentors ko doon. The experience of theater is not the experience of reading. Because yeah. when I watch yeah. your play and I'm familiar with the text you're working with, you have really envisioned it na and you have wrested it from the from the page and you've turned it into a theatrical experience. And yeah, I think that because is, I think uh, that's the job. That's the yeah, job. That's the job of the theater director. Yeah, no? I can I cannot do na pag pinanood nila yung ginawa ko. It's just ah okay. I this is what I read. This is what I saw. That's it. Yeah. No. So it's a translation project. You translate talaga. Or re one, I reinterpret. Yes, I, you yes. know, I, I cre in a, in a sense, although interpretation, I'm not writing. I mean something original, but yung reimagining some this whole this this text. Yes. You're reimagining it into a different world altogether. Yeah. That's that's my thing. Yes. It's not and, a and job. I mean, that's yeah, my translate challenge. From one language yeah. to the other, and the language of theater right. is something you know very, very well. That is why it's a visual and an auditory language and experiential language. Right. Okay. And that's what you give, no? I'm okay. such a big fan of Jose's uh, work. It's obvious. <laughs> obvious. <laughs> <laughs> such a huge fan. She's our best Thank director. You. Yes. Just, I think you say that to every director. No, clearly. Yeah. Maybe we could. Then, no. And, and uh, one of our best playwrights. I can't say oh, the, the only one best one, best. but marami naman sila. <laughs> but one of my favorites yes. is Rodi Vera, of course. No? I first saw Rodi's, uh, I first became aware of his work when I saw the Petter production yeah. of Kung Paano Pinatay Si Diana Ross, oh, which yes. was probably your first major... Hindi uh, naman. Di ba? But that was your, the first time I, I heard about you yeah. and I was already blown away by that wonderful script no? and the director was Soxie. Um, Soxie. It, that's why it was also handled very sensitively by oh. Soxie. So now your journey. That was a wonderful long journey. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to hear a long journey also. This uh, is probably a long journey. Mas, 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 Rodi has more years no? oh. to cover. Uh, ang, kasi yung pamilya ko naman, uh, well, we came from My grandfather established some Pagiti pictures also. Ayan na. Ah, <laughs> si Don Pedro. Doom ka na. Condemn. <laughs> so, oh. pe pero hindi ako sa film Nagawa. nagsimula. Oh. Ano, nagsimula ako sa teatro. Katulad niya, katulad ni Jose, uh, grade 2 ang first encounter ko sa theater when I was um, listed to be auditioned sa isang Father James Reuter play. 
Wow. Kasi nag- <laughs> nag-aaral kami sa religious Sandera. theater. <laughs> Nandun siya, nag- magdi-direct siya sa College of the Holy Spirit. So it's a Mendiola thing. Lang. So yung mang- kailangan niya ng mga bata na mamamatay kasi ginagawa niya yung Francis of Navarre. <laughs> Mm. So, <laughs> so I was one of the Indian boys. Oh, extra ah. lang. And I did miserably bad talaga kasi... Wala ka naman speaking part, na bad pa rin. Oo, oh, kasi may baril yun eh. May pag nag-sound yung baril, mamamatay ka. Lagi ka eh, hindi hey, nag-sound yung baril. Yeah. So, nakatingin <laughs> tayo yung baril. Eh, di tumigil yung show. Pero mga ganun, no? that was my first encounter. But I loved it so much. Not because I really understood what was going on. But I was with so... Can you put your finger on the nature of that love? Even maybe Jose can also try to answer. What is it about theater that's so lovable? Ang saya saya nung mga kasama ko. Kasama ko si Vic Diaz. Nakala ko nakikita ko siya sa TV na nakakatakot, bandido. Tapos when he's playing the devil in the play. But he's so ano, he's so lovable. He's so ano kaya bata ako no no. So and then yung mga yung mga co actors na ang saya saya. Lagi ako ng maaga pumupunta doon kahit wala pang rehearsal. It's the company, I guess, that that made me feel so at home. Uh, parang ganon. But after that, uh, mga high school na that that's when I I started when I entered uh, a workshop sa Peta, uh, sa Teen Theater Workshop. Yun yung talagang unrealized ko. Hindi lang pala uh, masaya, masaya, uh-huh. no? Meron din palang sinasabi. Ah. <laughs> Kasi, Di lang entertainment. May mga ex- ano na yun eh, 1976 oh, na yun protest eh. Protest so, theater yun. So, ano yes. na siya. Uh, we, our, our way of making theater had to be based on the social reality. Yeah. You know? So, ang una na, doon ko na-realize, ah, kailangan ng exposure. So, we were exposed. We went to uh, squatters area. And then, we built our improvisations there. So, mar- de, siguro papunta roon, nag, ano na, no, na, nakikita ko na, Nag, parang gusto ko ako, kasama ko sa writer's pool, ng teen theater, etc. So, I guess, maski doon sa, sa PETA, when I entered that, the company, parang doon na nila ako nakikita na yun yung nagiging parang uh, reference ko na gagawin. But I really didn't think of theater as a career. Kasi wala naman talagang career. Can we think of theater time. as a career even now? Or is it something like a passion lang that uh, you, and you need a real job? Is ang, that, ang hirap that, mag-recommend ng... That's the consensus I've, I've been hearing yeah. from all the artists we've been talking to in this show, hmm. even the visual artists, no? may mga day jobs. Tapos this is something you pursue as a passion, which also protects it from compromise. Kasi hindi mo siya talaga hmm. pinagkakakitaan eh. Hmm. Ginagawa mo siya kasi mahal mo siya, gusto mo siyang gawin. So si Jose, may day job, ang tawag pagtuturo, pagtuturo. Mm-hmm. at pareho siya ng job, day job namin ni Cecil oh. at ni, ni Glenn. Mm-hmm. No? So ikaw, ano yung day job mo? Yeah, full time ka ba? Uh, hindi, susulat ako para sa pelikula. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, form. Medyo ano, formula films, iba? Hindi naman, while I can If help you can it. Help it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, kung kung ganun man, ah, uh, nag-inject ako na sa akin. Mamaya, tatawin ka namin kung similar ba yung karanasan ng pagsusulat para sa teatro at pagsusulat para sa pelikula at ano yung, kung merong kaibahan, ano yung mga differences sige, na yun. Sige, sige. Mamaya. Pa, pa, kasi kultura rin, very different. Kahit pareho silang collaborative, di ba? Oo. Pero I think mas mag- maraming compromise na mangyayari sa film eh. Kasi may oh. producer, may right. star system, may mga celebrities, may mga oh. givens. Yeah. No? Oh. Given. Or even kahit sa indie, iba pa rin eh. Oo, oh, tapos yan. Kan- kanina pinag-usapan namin yung indie versus, versus mainstream, masalimuot na usapin, di ba? So, continue with your story. Uh, anyway, ako... Hindi, high school, pass high school na tayo. Pass high school, high school na. <laughs> eh, ang um, kinuha ko, biology. Kasi ah! gusto, gusto kong mag... Ba't ka na-win mo? Hindi ko inisip, kaya nakasabi ko, hindi ko mainisip na magiging career talaga yung theater. Pero, uh, so when I entered UP, uh, I entered uh, as a biology major. So pre-med siya. So mm-hmm. nung pero so, moving towards EDSA na tayo ng time na yan, hindi pa. Hindi pa. Oh my god, sorry na that. Okay, oh, 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 umaso oh, ng, ng Okay, so seven. Oh my god, seven. Salamat. Seven pa, pa rin pala tayo. Okay. Ah, uh, pero nung bandang 80, ay 79, nakatapos ka ba ng biology? Hindi. Hindi ako ah. natapos ng biology, naging aktivista ako. Ah, uh, pero naging aktivista ako sa PETA. Doon ako na-organize. Yeah. No? 
At pero dahil doon naging masyadong importante sa doon ang mas naging important sa akin okay. no yung yung pagiging uh, activist but using theater so theater for for me was the secondary uh, kwan no uh, dahil doon nag-shift ako to Philippine studies uh, nung 8 at yun na naging ano mo BA mo in Philippine hindi studies. ako nagtapos wala kang degree. Wala kang degree. Hanggang ngayon. Oh. Hanggang ngayon. <laughs> uh, Maganda rin. Maganda rin yung kwento eh. yan. Sapagkat hindi yan balakid para sa, para sa, sa buhay ng isang artista. Hmm. Degrees are really not as important. I remember in our program, Creative Writing, uh, ano namin, full professors namin, si Francis Arcelliana at si Andrian Gonzalez, walang mga degrees. High school graduates lang. Oh, Pero kasi, di ba, what really establishes your, your credibility, your reputation, is really your work. Actually, pwede ka mag-professor ng playwriting eh. So all the production, na, uh, all, the, uh, all the plays you've written and translation. You can teach translation also because already you have that track record. Pwede siguro. That's a good thing for the art system. Yeah, we will try to get you. Okay. Just say, maliit ang rate. Ano pala to? <laughs> UP rate. Application pala to. Recruitment. Oh. So, oh. UP rate. So ngayon, let's go to the contemporary okay. Roddy Vera kasi hindi ka lang playwright. Ikaw ay also... I mean, in your theater work... Oh, hindi mo ako pinanood sa Fathers and Sons. I'm eh. really sorry about that. <laughs> Oo, na, uh, artista rin siya. Oh. Nag, uh-uh. Actually, and, hindi mo ginalaw yung book mo for that. No? For a while, hindi mm, ka muna nagpag-upit. Oo, oh, and who can say no to Tony Mabesa? And you kasi cannot say no to Tony, of Directly, course, he no? called me para... Oh. Imagine that story from Jose hanggang ngayon, Tony is still there, di ba? Oh. But uh, I w- wanted to say, you, you actually are a translator. no? And that is another discipline altogether, no? At ang tanong ko siguro mamaya sa iyo will be to also talk a little more about translation for theater and how mm. what are the challenges of a translator and ibang iba ba 'yon sa pagsusulat ng original play? Uh, okay. Iba ba mga ng issues oh. no? Okay. Okay, so uh, maybe we can Sige. turn to Glenn now and okay. ask him for his story. Glenn. Si Glenn naman. Uh, taga probinsya so pinanganak sa Iloilo, lumaki sa Antique and then right after college sa Iloilo City. Uh, Kinaray A. Kinaray A, okay. Uh, although, uh, I also speak Hiligay nun. Okay. Uh, dahil I spent, nagtapos ako ng elementarya sa Iloilo at nagtapos din ako ng uh, college sa Iloilo din. Um, so, right after college, nagpuntang Manila and then worked sa Eat Bulaga as assistant writer. Mm-hmm. And then, wow. uh, sa Masaya. <laughs> And then, uh, dahil bagong salta, <laughs> yeah, tape tape track. Oh. Uh, okay, nag-enjoy naman ako, except that uh, I got tired of writing yung scripts for, parang pag tinatanong ako sa probinsya, uh, mass kong graduate ako. So, so anong ginagawa mo ngayon? So, uh, sa ABS ako, because uh, It Bulaga was then with ABS-CBN. At uh, anong show? Uh, It Bulaga, o oh, bilang uh, assistant writer, ano sinusulat mo dun? Bulaga and scripts. <laughs> and then, the, <laughs> So parang, well, how many times can you think of knock-knock jokes? Yeah. So, but, but yeah, nag-enjoy naman. But at some point, uh, uh, na- nanood ako ng isang uh, palabas sa uh, Nayong Pilipino. Uh, ang palabas doon, ang bon ulan baha ni Frank Rivera. I liked what I saw. Uh, and then, in-invite nila ako na gusto mo mag-workshop. So, uh, nagsimula ako sa theater, sa Manila Metropolitan Theater, mm. sa Teatro Metropolitano. And then, after uh, maybe a year with uh, Teatro Metropolitano, pinag-audition kami sa uh, Actors Company uh, ng Tanghalang Pilipino for a scholarship. And then, CCP I got man. in uh, oh, sa CCP. And then, I spent two theater seasons with uh, Tanghalang Pilipino. So, we had all these classes under Sinasar Nonon. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had karate lessons, dance lessons kay Teacher Agnes Luxin. So, ang saya-saya. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess, katulad ni Rodi din, parang, uh, if I think of the most memorable summer that I had, uh, ano siya, yung summer na nag... Uh, Nagkarate Acting ka. workshop. Nagkarate ka. <laughs> <laughs> Nag-acting workshop pa ako sa Metropolita, Chata, Chatro Metropolitano kina Frank Rivera. Kasi, uh, so, ang saya, di ba? Parang uh, bata ka. Mm-hmm. And then, ang saya maglaro, magkunya-kunyaring aswang, magkunya-kunyaring ganito, rapist, ganyan, o rapey. Rapey! <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, right after the, either a show or rehearsals, uh, pupunta sa Quiapo. Uh, maglalakad sa kiapo, kakain ng siopa, magkikipagkwentuhan, at feeling mo theater artist ka talaga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, kasi ito yung Manila na napanood ko ng bata pa ako sa mga pelikula ni Lenny Broca, ganyan. So, uh, yun. And then, uh, after doing um, yung sa 
Tanghalan Pilipino with all these classes and all these plays. Uh, nagturo sa high school for the arts, stayed there for seven years. Oh. And then, nagsusulat ng play on the side. Uh, pero at some point, ano yun, uh, dati pa nung isudyante pa lang ako, uh, fascinated ako sa palangka, scripts. Uh -huh. uh, mahilig akong basahin siya out loud. Hinanap mo yung formula. Uh, talaga ako. Na parang, ba paano ano ba ito? Pa pa paano ba ito? Ganyan, I had a... So, yun. So, and then, uh, ano yun? I did Tapos my best. Tapos nanalo ka lang ng palangka. <laughs> Kinarir ko yung pagsusulat based on what I read sa palangka. Ganyan. So, okay naman. Third, second. So, okay din yun. Pero parang, gusto ko ng first. <laughs> parang, before I die, sana maranasan ko yung lagyan ng medal sa harap ng lahat. <laughs> iiyak, etc. etc. So, uh, sabi ko, hindi ata enough. <laughs> hindi ata enough yung nagpupuyat. At ang arte-arte ko na para pag magsulat, di taga-antiki, ganyan. Magre-rent ako ng, pupunta ako sa Aninii, sa Siraan Hot Springs. I will rent a cottage. Uh, isang buong building ako lang siya. Dahil nabasa ko yung Paula na libro ni Isabel Allende. At sabi niya, mayroon daw siyang ritual na every New Year, Uh, nag, uh, nagsisimula lang siya magsulat ng bagong obra pag New Year uh, so habang wala 11.59 wala pa pag 12 o'clock magsusulat na siya so ginaya ko siya so nirent ko yung buong during the day nanonood na ako sa mga naliligo uy hello kumusta kayo Gan, ganyan uh, ako ka artist ako um, I'm preparing myself uh, actor training kasi to I'm focusing on my objectives and ganyan etc and then pagdating ng 12 o'clock magsusulat ganyan uh, okay naman except that the farthest I got was second kinarin yung contest so sabi ko ano kay papano ba to papano ba medal papano ba yan uh, so i thought of an mfa program so nag-enroll nag-aral sa katulad ni Jose sa America uh, and then on a Ford Fel Foundation fellowship and then on my first year of graduate school so kinarir ko talaga siya di ba and then ayun pala uh, i didn't have ang exposure ko sa Shakespeare yung napapanood ko lang uh, uh -huh. usually sa pelikula pa so sa grad school so ang ulo ko dahil may mga classes na we will talk talaga. about four Shakespeare mm -hmm. plays in one lecture. Pero, papano? Para I'm representing na nga my country. And, uh, so, papano ito? So, anyway, so, uh, yun, sa so inaral, crash course, etc., etc. Kinarir ko talaga siya. And then, uh, at ang, ang feeling ko pa nun, uh, I shouldn't have any problems here in the U.S. because I studied English the same number of years that I studied by national language. I grew up with uh, uh, Sesame Street and Friends and all these American TV shows. Yun ang unang sinabi ko sa 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 klase. And then sabi ng classmates ko, "Oh, Glenn, that is so not the English that is at each other." Anyway, uh, so yun. Uh, wala, dadakdak lang talaga ako. So, anyway, so, nag-MFA, went back to uh, Manila, and then nagturo sa Ateneo, where I have been teaching for 11 years, and then I do, uh, sometimes my, play, my plays get staged, uh, and I'm the artistic director of Tahalang Ateneo, mm -hmm. so I like... Uh, But you've, you've written yeah. plays in, the ver in different languages now. You have a Kinaray a play already? Or, an, uh, ang tag dito, uh, Kinaray a least English play. Oh, uh, pero nandun na, your yeah. linguistic... Uh, Uh, plurality is in the uh, things you write. No, that's a good uh, development. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that encourage my students to do exactly that also. Yes, so yes. I've had some I wonder students. if the, the palangka should have a category in a mixed language para ma free na siya. So I'm oh, thinking ma. particularly for now, mm. now the next question is Philippine theater in English, original Philippine theater in English. So many of the award winning, because it's a category that's still alive. The palangka still has a short, uh, a one act and a full length, full length. Uh, 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 category for theater in English. It used to be that when you people like Wilfredo Maraguerero and, and uh, let's say Montano, Severino Montano were alive, there was really was a Philippine, uh, original Philippine theater in English scene that was practically all that there was. And there was no mm -hmm. uh, theater in Filipino then. And these plays, judging from the biography and from the accounts I've been reading, were really being sort of like moved from venue to venue around the Philippines and the audiences siya, no? in public school system basically. And can you imagine how, how it must have felt to be a member of that audience watching this play, right? Like Sabina by Montano, which is set in the rural, in a, a rural place. But it's an Anglophone play. They're all speak, the characters are all speaking in English, right? And it's obviously translated because people like Sabina and the others wouldn't have spoken perfect English throughout, like for one whole day talking in English to each other. So that. That kind of theater, it's, I don't know, we can't suspend our disbelief anymore about that. So most of the plays that win in the Palanca now for, for English, the one actor, Spulent, win and don't 
ever get staged anymore. So maybe my question is, uh, is there hope for original Philippine theater in English? Pa? Or, as Glenn was saying, that the, well, the way to do it is actually free the language. If I have to write, a, let's say, uh, a play now, na, uh, my characters are, let's say, UP students, probably they will code shift from English to Filipino to mother tongue or to gay speak or whatever. Because realistically, that's how people talk, right? Mm. But if you have to do it straight English throughout, that stretches credulity. And I don't know, theater is the most mimetic of the arts. You can't quite suspend your disbelief in the same way you can for a novel in English, a Filipino novel in English. You can suspend your disbelief, right? Kasi sabihin mo, hindi naman realism talaga lang yan eh. Maybe it's magic realism. But theater, you expect imitation of life. So it's hard, no? So maybe my question is, um, what do you suggest to the palangka to, to just dissolve the category? Or, <laughs> or maybe look at some of these plays that have, have won and maybe translate them into Filipino. Will you be willing to do that, Roddy? Pa para maipasok sa... Para lang ma-stage sila. Ang daming nanalo na. Ilan na siguro? Ilang... Two decades worth of plays, na hindi na stage. Actually, magandang idea yon, and we've been, we have done that in Peta. Mm -hmm. Yung yung actually yung play ni Nick Pichai na uh, ah, tungkol yes, kay Plaridel, yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. it won, uh, in, it won English. in the in English, and yes. then we had it translated into Filipino. To become stageable, it had to be Filipino. Oh. But I think one of the more successful. Uh, playwrights writing originally in English now is Floy Quintos with his Evening at the Opera, yung kanyang Fluid yata was in English, was it? Mixed. Uh, okay. So, if, if you, uh, parang uh, Angry Christ. Uh, oh. I mean, nag, nag ano siya eh. Uh, uh, Pero si, may, pag ganun yung play mo, limited yung, yung world. No, like your angry cries, for example. Uh, well, oh, nga, nagi English sila lahat. Pero si nagko code shift din, nagpapalangga, nagi ilonggo yeah. yung kanya. Oh, pero smattering eh. lang eh. Neat lang smattering. eh. Smattering. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. siguro baka nga kung ikung gusto mo pa gusto siya, baka ano pa lang siya, baka uh, directorial pa yon. Or like, let's put some, some, I mean, uh, it goes along in the, in the process of rehearsal, yeah. no? But as a playwright, he would, I, I would like to believe that he wrote it in English entirely. And then, chaka, chaka gina no, 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 para mm -hmm. magkaroon ng flavor dahil kailangan i locate yung, yung mm -hmm. play, parang ganun. So, I, I, hindi ako masyadong maano dun sa ganun. Kasi ako, pag nanonood na ako ng play, at, at sinet na, sinabi ng, ng ano, that this play will be in English, pumunta ako dun, tapos nun, nakinig ako, in-expect ko naman na mag english nag english naman sila, o di, sige. <laughs> <laughs> pero, <laughs> pero si, tingnan mo ha, yung character, <laughs> yung, kasi, I, okay, the reason why Angry Christ worked, and I did review the play, and, and I think of the recent productions of Dula Ang UP, talagang yun ang massively reviewed, ang daming nag-review, at medyo positive yung yes. trend ng mga review, no? Right. I think that the language uh, issue was not really uh, noticeable because it was actually a period play, matter of speaking. And the main characters are actual Ingliseros talaga. They're like Filipino-Americans, yeah. diba? But the Tapos, tenants. But the tenants, you see the peasants, uh, in the province, particularly of that time, no, nag English sa naman din talaga. Nagtatry yung, yung parish priest, di ba? Parang nag-talk siya in English. Tapos nakikita mo naman na yung character ng English, yung quality ng English ng mga kausap niya, is actually very local. So, na-localize, I think, directorial na lang yun, siguro, mm -hmm. no? Probably on the page, it must have sound, it must, like, uh, yeah. sounded stand, mm -hmm. like standard English. Right. But the delivery of it made it local. Mm -hmm. So, that probably is the way to do it, no? But I think those are exceptions. If you did the play now, and the characters are talking to, let's say, banana cube vendors, or mga ganyan, tas nag sila, <laughs> it will be hard to suspend your disbelief. Kasi theater siya. Meaning, the mimetic requirement is quite strong. No? Well, if, 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 but then if you, if you extend film, that yes. argument, uh, like for example, yung pelikula ni Mes de Guzman na Diablo, it was set in Ilocos. But it was people were speaking in Filipino, mm -hmm. no? So tapos may smattering lang ng Ilocano. Uh, pero minsan may merong Ilocano actor and he will allow this actor to talk entirely in Ilocano. Pero so, kasi Ilocano walang 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 baggage naman ng Filipino versus uh, as vis a vis Ilocano and the others. But if you're if you're talking about um, like very similitude, if you're talking about, uh, di ba? Medyo, ay, bakit bakit siya nag-ah kasi 
Ayan. Iba but, we have a, but we have a Filipino national discourse kasi and we have mm-hmm. the bilingual pal- policy. So all north and south of the country, Filipino is being taught and read and spoken, di ba? Mm-hmm. So that's a little different, I think, from the English thing. Pero Which sa atin really kasi, makes it a class kami, question eh. Pag sa atin, pag Inglesero, class, di ba? May parang, ah, Inglesero <laughs> siya. <laughs> So, kung nagpi-Filipino ay nag-Ilocano, parang parang siyang Pilipino. Parang gano'n. Parang may ano siya. Oh. Eh. And then, okay lang din yun. Kung kunwari, eh, kung kunwari, yung Angry Christ ba ay ano ba? Ang, ang mga nag-appreciate ba dito ay medyo nasa high class ba? Pagka ba kunwari nanood yung, well, yung pesante? <laughs> na, I, know, I don't, I, yes. I think the pesante would have... It might register a different uh, reaction. Yes, certainly. Uh, no, that play, the problem with that play, if at all, is that it actually idealized the pesante. Mm-hmm. Diba? And you, you understand it, it started linguistically. Right, That's the right, first, right. and then ideally, but that play is uh, for me. It wasn't realistic entirely, nga eh. Mm-hmm. Kita naman siya din, ha, parang may meron siyang transfigured reality siya. Eh. So, so I guess bakarin na sa intention ng na sa mode, no? Kung ah, yung mode ano yung yung talaga. Right. Like when I wrote when I wrote Dreamweavers. Ah, yeah. It was it, 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 that is in English, and they were yes, like yes. workers, yeah. peasants, etc. But then but it the was a practical is, decision yeah. because it was supposed to be performed in the Netherlands. Yeah. So y- yun yung touring ano nun, nung, nung, nung natuwa naman yung mga artista pagdating dito, hindi kagawin natin ginawa. Mm-hmm. And it still, I guess, Did it, it was sti- yeah, it worked. Kasi uh, pinalabas namin sa RCBC. Eh. Kasi yun ang tanong ko, baka, is it market driven then? Meaning to say, alam nyo na yung audience nyo beforehand. Kwari sa university, di ba? May English version, may Filipino version of the same play. Does that uh, affect your decision? Do sa language use? Or like you were in the director of Lula, UP, you had to program the season ahead, no? So, meron ba, may mga obligatory gestures na kayo. Oh, uh-huh. Shakespeare yan kasi may audience yan. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, high schools require Shakespeare plays. So, kailangan may uh-huh. Shakespeare. O kailangan meron tayong Filipino, Filipino nationalist play or something like that. So, uh-huh. meron na kayong ilinia for that. All of those are affected also by marketing, di ba? And you or think programming about lang programming lang. and <gasps> looking for audiences. Right. Well, college pa lang when I entered lang UP. Ganun na eh. <clears throat> so, napansin ko yun. May... Uh, English version tsaka may Filipino version precisely because of marketing. No, na some uh, some teachers prefer the English version mm-hmm. and then yung mga Filipino, those who are teaching in Filipino, uh, Filipino subjects would prefer the ano. Pero two ako, birds with one stone, yeah, more or less. Pero ako personally, eventually, so dati ginagawa ko rin yun. Eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But then eventually it didn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, it just... I cannot, hindi ko na ma-reconcile yung, kunyari, kapag iniisip ko, magdi-direct ako ng Shakespeare, kailangan in translation. Mm. <coughs> if I do, because iniisip ko kasi nasa Pilipinas ako, yung ganon, mm. ako, <coughs> Pilipino, yung ganon, yung ganon yung sensitivity ko. So, hindi ko siya maisip na, so ano sila, they're what, British, pretending to be, you know what I mean? And then, uh. and then hindi naman makuha talaga yung, let's say, the, not even the act, yung diction ng, how do you pronounce? I mean, what is the correct? Easy pa rin even, yun. even in, in, in England, every Shakespeare production is a translation. Right. Because you can't right, go exactly. back to the original Shakespeare anymore. Right. They're trying to do it, it's very funny. Right. The way that the, the English was spoken, yeah. the actual, the, uh, the English of Shakespeare's time, the Elizabethan right. English, it's practically cannot be understood even right. by the contemporary uh, uh, English audience. I mean, I, I guess I can just go with what I would say. You just good competent English pronunciation. Yung maintindihan ko. Pero still, yung in terms of, a, as a director, mm-hmm. uh, interpreting the text, iniisip ko palagi, so, kung dalawang versions to, yung Filipino version, ano yon? And then, pag nag-English, so, ano na, ba't sila nag-English? Sa dinabay? You know what I mean? Yung, yeah. So, I don't do it anymore. Well, my, my, my observation about that is now and then you have, you have the same actor doing both, right? Right. And you really, you really do feel better when you watch the, the actor doing Filipino kasi hindi siya nahihirapan. Right. Kitang-kita mo na ta- talagang, at, at naiintindihan niya, sinasabi niya, nakikita mo na naiintindihan niya. That's my problem when we do a lot of English, uh, mga Shakespeare plays. You can tell the actors just memorize the lines and don't really quite understand what they're saying. Yeah, mm. kasi ma- ma- medyo malupit yung script analysis oh, na gagawin oh, oh, oh. mo for Shakespeare, mm. eh. even for the director. So that's why, you know, dramaturgs help a lot because... Mm. Um, can you explain what the dramaturg does? Because that's, uh, 
uh, a newish kind of category no? in the theater scene no? here in the Philippines. Yeah, because relatively it's not really new. new. Uh -oh. not, uh, actually, to make it even simpler, dramaturgy means research. The researcher. Yeah, so uh -huh. actually, everybody does research. The director does research, the playwright does research. But so a dramaturg is necessary or if the director is particularly adept and diligent, pwede siya na rin na mag-dramaturg? Pwede rin, pwede rin. Pero kasi ang, what I see na advantage of having a dramaturg is to have that, you know, you can... other perspective. Yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> and somebody to, in a way, protect you. That, that's the job of the Offer dramaturg. resistance. To pro uh -huh. protect the whole production, to protect you as a director, to make sure you know, somebody's so, pag asking you questions. So, when I review the play and I see the questionable understanding of the philosophy, the <laughs> dramaturg is just like, I'm scared! No, no, no. That's why I gave you a review of one play. Oh, no. That's why I gave you a play. That's why I gave you a play. No, no, no. Because the director can still... Uh, it's not German romanticism, if you don't know. What play is this? And who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Peter... What is it? Peter Gint ba yun? Si Faust. Faust? Faust. 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 No, no, no. Per per no, pareho. Yung iba yung dramaturg ng isa. Pareho sila may problema. Yeah, but, well, in the end, director pa rin yan eh. I mean, at Actually, least in my yeah. case. But the, I guess the our directors... The buck stops here. Yeah, for me, for me, for me. I can't speak for all directors. But I will always say, well, in the end, ako nag-desisyon. Right? So, ganun talaga. I mean, that's part of the deal. You know, the director gets all the blame. Most of it. Most of the time. Has it ever happened that like, you two have collaborated, no? Uh, that you disagreed on how, uh, let's say, the vision is? Because you envision the play. You turn, you translate it, you have a theatrical vision of it. And let's say right. the play is a script. Have you actually uh, come to heads regarding, let's say, the way you chose to do it? Tapos hindi na type? Or Parang wala, more or less wala agree pa tayong ganun, yung grabe. Wala, wala, wala. Oh. Wala. Merong, yeah. like, like, nung, nung, Yung sa Pirgin, halimbawa, no? sa uh -huh. Pirgin, uh -huh. nung sinabi niya, halika gawin natin yung Pirgin, ang una ko tanong, bakit? <laughs> so, I mean, parang hindi ko maano, and it uh -huh. took a while, no? it took a number of, of discussions, uh -huh. sessions at Hilda Fernando's place, na uh -huh. lagi kami nag ano, hindi ko mailagay, hindi ko mailugar, hindi ko mailagay, uh -huh. hanggang sa slowly, slowly, naman siya, slowly yes. yun nga, so, I mean, nag ano yun eh, took, you found the analog. there were dramaturgs, uh -huh. and there were, ano, that uh -huh. we were really uh, uh -huh. trying to, break that, I mean. Oh. So, so sometimes you have a director, like, I'm not really a very talkative or, you know, articulate director. Pag, pag ayoko nang explain, sabihin ko, kunwari, kinal, I'm real, ganito lang yan eh, can you explain to Roddy? And then, kakaintindihan mm -hmm. matay, okay, explain it to Roddy. <laughs> 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 Parang ganon. Uh -oh. Diba? Because... Maybe, maybe hindi ka lang confrontational, kaya si Andrew lang ang ano mo. <laughs> <laughs> I choose my battles, pero wala naman kami major na problems ni Rodi in terms of working together. Maybe we can ask Len and how do you choose your material para sa company for for the season. Do you do programming for teatro at the for talaga at the yes. So what what do you consider marketing things also? Yeah. So among other things, so yung nasabi na nga na uh, first sem, uh, Filipino department ang nagre-require, second sem, English department, etc. So that's taken into consideration. Uh, and then what's going on in the country, in, uh, sometimes I go through the issues of Gaidon, uh, ano yung in, or go online sa pages ng uh, Athenian is, is students. Is it okay if I then, ask if the owners of your university ever actually tell you, kailangan uh, natin ng Jesuit play? Wala, wala. Wala naman. Wala naman. At saka ano siya, Life parang, and uh, we, we did uh, middle finger... <laughs> We did middle finger. Well, there's subsidy, correct? We did middle finger, which was. Self-sustaining, ba kayo? Hindi kayo subsidized. Self-sustaining. Yeah, we thrive on ticket sales and mga estudiante yung nagahanap ng sponsors, etc. So heroic talaga. So mahirap, mahirap. Yeah, as in the state of most. No, kami subsidized. Ah, okay. A little bit government. Yeah. Anyway, we're spoiled. 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 We're spo
academic-based theater, and of course, mm-hmm. you, the UP academic-based, not UP theater. Uh, you have done non-academic-based, uh, PETA. Can you uh, can we sort of talk about the difference between academic and non-academic-based theater? Mm-hmm. Uh, what would be the ma- most important difference, and uh, what are the advantages of doing academic-based theater, for example? Now you've done oh, PETA. You've so done both, then, oh, let's hear from Roddy. Because yeah, PETA is also a peculiar ano din naman eh, theater company. Because educational, eh. kasi siya. educational theater. Oh. Uh, pero at the same time, during that time when I entered, uh, mas ano siya sa social political issues. But, but PETA has been doing musical plays now. Right. Like building all production around pop songs. Right, right. You'll never, UP will never do that. Talaga? Yeah, no? <laughs> 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 Baka naman dahil sa copyright issues. <laughs> Siguro kung okay lang nilibre lahat yun. Oh, oh. Kasi ang laki ng binabayad nila no, doon. Hindi, pero let's see, mayroon talaga kayo, may commercial uh, uh, imperative of PETA na hindi pwedeng entertain ng UP masyado. Uh, yung nangyari na lang yun. Yung endless, endless season ng Care Divas pa ulit-ulit-ulit right. kasi talagang commercially appealing, di ba? UP will only do it once, let's say. Tapos hindi naman kami talaga will not pursue it for, for profit. No? But that's just, just, just seeing PETA in, on one side. No? Kasi mm. lalo na ngayon dahil they have a theater center that they need to, ah, to really true. sustain. They have to be sustained. No? And it's really an expensive building. Yeah. Uh, so, isa yun sa mga nagiging pa. In fact, on the fifth time na nag-run ang Rap of Ages, oh, yeah, uh, medyo ano na sila parang... Buisit na. Ala, 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 <laughs> hindi naman buisit, kundi alam nila na mini milk na lang nila ito no? oh, alam alam yun but, yeah. pero at the same time they have a lot of other programs sa sa grassroots for example yung Yolanda meron sila mga play na but these are things that you don't really hear and they're um, not they're not in that in that building anymore no it's really outreach yung mga outreach yan, yan. Right. tapos noon eh, lalo na ngayon sa so 50th year we're doing Galileo oh, yeah. and then uh, yung festival of windows uh, para ipakita i showcase yung lahat ng people's theater practices na ginawa ng PETA yeah. throughout the ano no? so i guess I mean, yun talagang nakatambad ngayon talaga sa if you're going to say mainstream no so very peculiar ang PETA because hindi naman siya nakabase sa university or any college but it's actually it's been doing educative work no throughout yes, the decades oh, and, so, and, pe- and people don't normally note it. They don't know that. Oh. Nandun yun sa communities. Yeah. But I'm thinking, meron tayong commercial talaga na mga theater companies, no? Like, let's say, Repertory Philippines, mga ganyan. Or, uh, ano pa ba iba? Yung mga actors actor, mga ganyan. Or new boys. No? They're still into producing. And talagang kailangan talaga sila, they make profit, no? Kasi that's the way they assure f- uh, future production. Mm. No? So, very different set of variables and sort of constants no, for them. No? Yeah. Pag academic based yung theater, more or less, uh, meron din tayong, we have to work with ano, the curriculum no, and you know, make sure that we have a, a Shakespeare play ganyan, kasi it's required, etc. Okay. Now, uh, how do we ensure quality control, I think, in theater? No? Uh, uh, do, are you uh, sensitive to uh, critic, critiques? Do you, li- do you read reviews? Uh, are you uh, happy about critical recognition? Do you like, like you, no, joining the palanka, no, for your your scripts, no? Uh, is it important that you win? Have you have you uh, have you ever written a play that ne- you never entered in a palanka or that you entered that that didn't win and yet you actually believe is better <laughs> than, than some scripts that won? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're already a hall of famer, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. So. We shouldn't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, wala pang masyadong Hall of Fame, no? But uh, is critical recognition important? And is that a good way to assure quality in, in the theatrical uh, uh, As far as uh, sa tanghala atin is concerned, uh, yeah, nag- nagbabasa siyempre ng uh, what other people have to say about the production. Kasi to begin with, di ba, uso naman sa, uh, sa, th- sa theater yung uh, merong like a peta night or merong bloodbath right before opening That's and true. of course you are interested in hearing what uh, your Called potential audience night, members have no? to the say critics night with correct the critics, critics night so or in our case kanyari kung naka market sa Filipino department then the entire department watches and then gives comments but in the long run um, 
So, so okay, it's an opportunity to know what your audience is, uh, what your audience thinks about your show. But in the long run, uh, kumisan you agree with reviews, you not agree with reviews. So okay, din siya. Although maganda siya, pre, pag okay ang review, pwede mong magamit sa pagmarket ng show. But other than that, uh, yeah. Pero as a writer, yung, as a writer, yung recognition, you, you kept entering the palangka, sabi mo. So it's important to oh, be that, recognized. I haven't joined in a long time. Pero yes, I think it's one way for a new writer Beginning to, writers, di ba, uh, And more than mapansin, I guess, in joining writers work workshops for instance it's aside from the na pumasaka and parang inannounce sa lahat kasi may press release blah 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 but other than that it's the opportunity to meet the uh, the literary lions uh, people you look up to and then uh, yeah, get the for any new of, new artist uh, it's important to be validated because yeah, uh, uh, it's such a uh, uh, counterintuitive decision why would anyone want to be an artist mm -hmm. <laughs> right and so, so you do want to get affirmation somewhere uh, uh, that your decision is actually the right one Right? And it comes in the form of awards. No? Uh -huh. And I think the Palanca is, let's be fair, it's actually one of the better uh, uh, awards to get because uh, hindi naman siya kabal of like uh, group think. Eh. Uh, your play that you enter now may lose this year because the particular composition of the judges is not inclined that way. Enter it next year, magbabago yung composition ng judges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, may meron na akong mga na-meet, I've been judging in the Palanca, na nanalo sila eventually after 10 tries. Of the same play? Of the same, hindi naman play. The same story or the same poetry collection. Tinitweak-tweak nila, of course, kasi nag-revit. It also gives them time to revise, but they believe in the work. And probably that's the best piece of, piece of advice we can give, no? If you believe in your work, then to hell with the world, to hell with what critics say. And that's true also for productions. Diba, Jose, no? you, you know you did a good job, right? And you believe in the work. So what if the critics didn't get it, right? Yeah. I, think, I think you have to have your own personal meter, you know, yes, yes. some personal way of measuring, you know, if you've done well, if you're happy with, with what you've done. So I choose who to listen to, who to read. Mm -hmm. But I pay attention. Ako yung una. Ako yung pinaka First and last judge. Yeah. Ikaw I mean, because lahat naman, diba, sa akin ang galing eh. So, I have to suffer, I have to enjoy, whatever it is. Bumabalik yeah. sa akin. But of course, uh, that being said, yung process of collaboration with your creative team is also so important. So, yun, I mean, syempre nakikita lang ng, if you look at reviews, diba? Ay, Kapag pinapanood lang naman nila siyempre yung final product, um, they, could, they might come on a bad day and, because you can't, ano eh, you can't sort of, pa, hindi naman parang ano yan eh, anong tawag doon, yung it's perfect show every time because actors are human, you know, yung staff ganun din, nagkakaroon ng tech problems and so on. So sometimes it's a bad day, whatever. I mean, those are just little things. I mean, of course, you can just be a bad director altogether and production is really bad. But if you don't have some way to measure or to say, yung parang self-awareness na, God, ang pangit to show na to. <laughs> diba? Kahit natapos na. Kasi, ginagawa mo yan, paninindigan mo, kailangan panindigan mo yan. No matter what. It, you know, it's like the child, the ugly child, na only you will really have to love it. Minsan yung collaborators mo, iiwang ka na, or hindi ka na pinapansin, hindi na sila nanonood, but you have to be there for your actors every single time. You can't yes. abandon your actors. Sila rin, they're in that terrible position, terrible but exciting position of facing a live audience who would you know, clap yeah. for them, whatever, yeah. not react to them. That's why it's props to theater people because it's really, you are really putting yourself there to be judged, yeah. no? Yung film, you can actually more or less detach yourself from the product there. But theater, you can't. You're there physically. If you're the actor, if you're the director, you, the audience reacts like instantaneously, right? And you get to bear the, the reward. You get to receive the reward or bear the consequence if it's a bad production. Now, we unfortunately have no more time. And so we would like to ask all of you to uh, uh, more or less uh, give your last words. Uh, Probably your last words can be also a bit of an advice, advice. for theater artists, no? uh, whether they're actors or the, uh, future directors or playwrights. No? Uh, uh, maybe a words of encouragement <laughs> would be another way of putting it. Uh, what should they prepare for? Yeah. What, what, what does this calling or vocation require? What should you have? 
Uh, we we'll begin with Glenn. Yes. Para advice line. Gusto mo mag-theater, di read as many plays as possible, watch as many plays as possible, attend ito mga festivals all over, Virgin Lab Fest, short and sweet, etc. Try na develop kind of friendships with some theater people that you look up to, get mentored by people you look up to. Do you recommend getting a degree? Getting a degree helps then because the university will make things a bit easier for you by introducing you to professors and industry people. Yun so persevere and hard work and nothing beats yun de ba so. Should we, you also fall in love when you're... <laughs> <laughs> Kahit naman yata anong career mo. <laughs> Nakaka-add ng spice yun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> diba? Be Pero, inspired. Uh -oh. Okay, uh, bits of advice. Oh. Di, para, sa, para sa akin, I guess, uh, ang pinaka-practical, especially since I was uh, advisor for Philippine High School for the Arts, mm -hmm. for, for, for theater, a good of years. for a good number of years, uh, ang na-realize namin, importante na sumali sila sa isang grupo okay. or magtayo sila ng isang grupo mm -hmm. na nagpa-practice ng theater. Dahil kung hindi, then din nila na-realize yung possibilities nito for turning it into some kind of sustainable, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that will keep them sustainable. Di ba? Uh, kasi yung iba sa kanila, pagkatapos graduate, they head on to other different, ano, katulad ko, no? If oh. I were, kung tumuloy-tuloy ako, I would have been a doctor. Dami mo na sana. Or a nurse. So, meron. Pero para sa akin, importante na... So, may communal nature ng theater work. So, it's good to be in the community. Like, a playwright cannot survive alone. He has to find some group or person who will be interested to stage it. And that already is a group. And also for actors, it would be good to be part of a company or a group as well. Or at least, you always keep together. Parang ano yun yun? You're either kung tanghalang Pilipino yan or even sa UP, etc. Doon mas pinaka makikita mong pinaka active yung mga individuals ng theater. Yes, yes. That's wonderful advice. And Jose, actually, yung kinabi mo kanina, advice na yun. Yung kanina. More, more. So, like, ano ba? You can't do theater, you can't be in theater without doing theater. So, you know, just to supplement what they said. You learn by practice talaga. Yeah, you cannot learn theater through books. You have to practice it. Yung iba naman... Like, madaling magaling na director na hindi naman nag-directing class. But they, for some reason, they kept doing it. So, so with mm -hmm. actors. A lot of actors, di ba, sa film, ganun well, din. Hindi naman, formal training. Hindi naman tayo, yung industriya natin, hindi kasi laki sa Amerika or sa Europe. No? So, madaming pagkukulang sa curriculum. So, you, so kung ano man yung kulang dun sa ano, you need to keep on uh, looking for work, for mm -hmm. projects. Diba? Yung mga director, parang how do you get to direct? Ang hirap nun eh. So it's either you found the company, yun, puta pa, which is so difficult. Mm -hmm. So to me, kaya, kaya ako siguro na ano magturo because nakita ko agad yung connection. Okay, I'll teach. Pero that, to me, the price is really to be able to direct. Mm -hmm. So you need to find that. Or you need to, ano, you need to start apprenticing with directors you like. You need yeah. to start looking for good people na you want to work with. Yeah. yeah. Look for a mentor. Yeah. Lalo na dito. It has to be so informal eh. Kasi mm. it's not, the industry is not that big. It's not yeah. that big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much to all our guests. Uh, yet again, we uh, find ourselves uh, running out of time. We would have wanted to extend the discussion to forever. <laughs> so many other issues uh, to cover. But I hope you guys, uh, viewers of this show, have uh, enjoyed our episode today. Uh, uh, look, we look forward to the next episode. And so, uh, till then, uh, goodbye. <laughs>